doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. Today we're taking a look at Real Littles. I know the back wall says oh so real mini packs. We made this a long time ago. Before the switch to Real Littles. Micro Mart. Things you love made micro. Did oh so real mini packs come out before mini brands or after? I want to say it was before. I want to say that Shopkins are the OGs. I should check back in my videos to uh, check that, but I'm not going to. Instead, we're going to enjoy some Pop-Tarts and diced tomatoes. To be honest, I'm not sure what series this is. There is a collector's guide, but it doesn't say. It just says now with even more varieties. There are more on the back. Looks like there is a lot of ice cream. We got some slushies there and there are 85 plus real littles to collect. We have two mini packs and inside we should have two real littles. Ooh, they're wrapped in paper. I think that's diced tomatoes. So do we do we not call these Shopkins anymore? We have chocolate chip cookie dough pop tarts and it does say Shopkins right there. So I guess we're good. Guess you can call them real littles or you can call them Shopkins. You can call them whatever you want. And here is our pop tart. The chocolate filling is kind of squishy. That brings us back to an old question. Can our dolls eat food with a face on it? Oh, and it says across season 15, Micro Mart drop one. So I guess there are 15 seasons. Looking at the collector's guide, I want the pie and I wouldn't mind the slushies, even though those are limited edition. I love the boxes of cereal. I can do without all the pudding and drinks. I want the drinks. I picked these up at Walmart. They were $2.97 each. I also picked up this 16 piece set. It was a little under $9. We can see most of what we're getting and then there are four hidden surprises. So let's do some math. Four pieces for about $3, which means you're paying about 75 cents per piece. 16 pieces for around $9, you're paying about 56 cents each. Then there's the mega pack that I got at Target for $14.99. So about $15. It has 26 pieces, which makes these about 57, 58 cents each. So it looks like the 16 piece gives us the best deal. Real Little's journals. I got this one on sale at my Walmart for $4. Real Little's backpacks. This one was $8.97 at Walmart. Real Little's bag collection. I want to say this was around $9. And the Disney handbags are about $10 on Amazon. Prices vary depending on which store you're in. I'm sure you all know I am just here to see which pieces look good with the dolls. Here we have an ice cream sandwich. Inside we have tissue paper and our real little or our shopkin oh there's your face they are a little wide but i think on a shelf we can get away with it and i got more pop tarts i think the pop tarts look great in a doll pantry but i mainly want the bottles of juice however they're like exclusives or rare so my chances aren't looking so good but who knows today might be a lucky day ice cream that is not juice and uh, we got fruity snacks, which is common, and cookies and cream ice cream, which is rare. So we might get a juice after all. Mini Toya is very much lactose intolerant, so she doesn't need <laughs> the ice cream. Rocky Road is common and a Micro Mart special. Look at that. The little ice cream scoop fits perfectly in my Integrity Toy doll hand. Our other one is cereal. I kind of love cereal, y'all. So this is a keeper. They are totally mocking me with a picture of juice on the front. There should be juice in everyone. Just saying. This is not juice. It is beef franks. 
and Eggos. That are pancakes. The pancakes are actually kind of cute. I like the syrup on top, and if we turn them around this way, they're perfect. We only have three of these little ones left. Oh, we got a pie or a pot pie. And Welch's grape jelly. That one is cute. And I actually like the way the pot pie looks. If we turn it, we can make it so we don't see the face. Oh yeah, our dolls are gonna be eating good tonight. The jelly is perfect for the dollhouse. I have a feeling we are not gonna find any juice in these surprise boxes. Nope, that's ketchup and more Eggo waffles or Choco toast. All right, here we go. Let's see what's in this one. That looks like ice cream, of course and uh chips pringles i'm gonna say these pringles would be perfect for like an 18 inch doll maybe even a smart doll yeah that could work i pretty much knew i wasn't gonna find juice in those surprise boxes and that's why i got these because i can see a lot of the things we are getting we have fudge pops and popcorn pringles and a pot pie strawberry ice cream in a clear bowl. You all know how I feel about ice cream, but this one is different because I like that it comes in a little bowl. Even with a face on it, we can totally use it with our dolls. In this pack, we got an icy. This is too cute. I like the little straw. I like the little slushy. This is gonna be adorable with the dolls. This is one of the hidden surprises. We got another ice cream. <laughs> right when I say I was okay with one, I get more. Is this a bowl? Ooh, no, I don't think so. It's a bunch of scoops of chocolate peanut butter. And this one is animal crackers. I haven't collected Real Little's Micro Mart in a while, but it does feel like I've seen many of these before. I've kind of lost count on the Briars ice cream. Let's go ahead and check out the Mega Pack with lots of gummy candy, cheese, and whipped cream. The cheese actually looks like a good size for an 18 inch doll. And this one does feel new to me. I don't think I've seen it before. Popsicles, Jello. The boxes are definitely for a larger doll. However, the Real Littles or Shopkins could totally be used with a 1-6 scale doll. It looks like Jello out of a mold. I'm liking the mixed veggies. They come in a bowl. I think they'll work great for a 1-6 scale doll. And minis. And I got my Juicy Juice. The cup is pretty cute. It looks like it's splashing. And the juice bottle is a great size. Many brands seem like a direct competitor for Real Littles. Normally priced around $6.99, you get five items inside, which is about $1.40-ish per piece, which is a higher price per piece when compared to Real Littles. Now, if you're interested in mainly the mini packs and not so much the Shopkins, then these would be about $1.50 each, making them slightly more expensive than the mini brands. But the larger packs would still be the better deal cost-wise. Money aside, which one is the better fit for the dollhouse? And did I mention I just got these at Target? Half off? With the sell price, that makes them instantly a winner. We got popsicles. However, there is nothing inside of these. The packaging is just for show, but that's the fun part, right? And since many brands don't have to hold anything, their scale is, uh, it's pretty good. This pack of hot dogs could totally be used with the dolls. However, it does feel like a lot of them are just, you know, little boxes. But then again, so are these. I just realized I forgot to open some of the surprises from the last one. So here we have pretzels with a pretzel inside. Swirl cups. This is cute. We can totally use this with the dolls. 
and bagel bites. You know I got more than one. It was a sale. I can't say I'm a fan of Mini Brands packaging, but that's just me. Jolly Rancher hard candy, more candy. We need something other than candy. <laughs> more candy. Okay, okay. What about this? What's this? Cereal. Yeah, I like their cereal boxes. What's this? Um, syrup. We can always just use them together. It's our miniverse. We can do what we want. I started using the word miniverse back in 2019 when we left the dollyverse. Just throwing that out there. I see. Pez? This is supposed to be a real littles video. And here I am opening mini brands, perfectly sized for the dollhouse. Although I do like that we get something inside of the real little boxes. Jeez. I did see that there are food or foodie mini brands now, so that'll be cool. So much candy. Where's the tofu, man? I'm over here talking all this mess. I should probably check the collector's guide. Nope, moving on. Poppers, that's a double. I know series four has been spotted, so who knows? Candy, yeah. All right, I'm letting my own personal preferences flood into this video. Black pepper, all right, that's pretty good. And I like the size, not too bad. Let's see, another icebreakers, a double, okay. And that's a shelf. Ah, Is there a way we can reuse some of these? I'm glad you asked. I think these could be easily transformed into little baskets. Let's cut off the top, glue fabric around the sides. I fold it like a present on the bottom. Cut another piece of fabric, fold over and glue down the top. Make sure the fabric can wrap around the box. With the good side on the inside, glue the ends together and along the bottom, making a pocket. Place it in the box, then fold the edge over the sides. Use ribbon, yarn, or twine to make handles to make a quick basket. Trim them down to make different sizes. Let's cut off just the sides. Take one of the tops we cut earlier and cut off the tab. I'm gluing two together. Cut a piece of foam or a sponge and glue it on top. Cover it with fabric. Cover the box with fabric. I've been going around the edges. I put my seam on the corner. And I'm just gonna tuck the rest of this in and glue it down. And let's cut off this little tab here at the top. Glue the cushion on top to make a hamper with a lid. Hmm, what to do with these? Let's cut leftover strips of foam board. These are about an inch and a quarter thick. I have four and we're gonna just stack and glue them together. Place the wedge on the board and then angle it until it is straight. Cover it with paper glue on the wedges going all the way up. I'm gonna cover up these holes with some black strips to make a modern staircase for the dollhouse. I don't know, I might be reaching on this one. It sounded good in my head. I don't know, it might work. Here is the Real Littles journal. This one looks like makeup. It's called the Beauty Secrets Journal. There are six different ones. And we just open this. You can see the makeup sticker right here. This is, um, I guess like a key. And it looks like it goes right here. Let's make sure it's facing them right way. And then we're gonna turn that and open this secret compartment where we have more keys. And this looks like a little compact. Oh, that's cool. It actually works. 
It's a great size for like an 8, 10, 18 inch or a smart doll. Use the key to open the lock. Oh, come on. Open. There we go. Oops, I guess I broke that. And here is a notepad with blank pages. We have a pencil pouch on the side. It's super tiny. And inside there is a tube, but this is also a pen. That's cute. We have some sticker gems and some little, uh, this is like note, like a post-it note type of thing, but it's shaped like nail polish. This is attached with Velcro, so we can remove that. And yeah, there you go. These could totally be used with our larger dolls. Or you can just use it for what it's intended for. Here's a Real Littles backpack with six surprises inside. This one looks like a popsicle. The backpack itself looks a little large for one six scale. You can probably use it as a prop in a larger doll room. The zipper actually works. And inside, ugh, everything is in a bag. We have a pen that looks like a popsicle. It's very snug fit there. A little notepad. Um, a pencil. Oh, it's lots of little pencils. We have a pencil pouch, which is definitely sized for like an 18 inch doll. This looks like, oh, that's cute. Little rulers and protractors. That's cool. These are perfect for the dolls. And we can use this as the little pencil box. I love it. And then we have a stamp. I think I can give these two items to our one six scale dolls and this to our 18 inch dolls. Real Little's bag collection, definitely sized for like an 18 inch doll or smart doll. Inside we have a little laptop. This is really cool. And look, there's letters on the keyboard. I like that detail. Oh, and it feels different. That's cool. We have headphones that are a good size for the dolls. They're just really soft, so they're not really hugging the head like we want them to. There's a mouse for the computer, and I think it actually plugs in on the side. That's so cool. We have a cell phone. It is kind of large. I would say smart doll size. The video game controller is perfect for one six scale. And it looks like there's a comic book, which is kind of perfect. All right. So for about $9, I got a few items for my smart dolls and some for my one six scale. So far, these are kind of my favorite finds of the day. Hold on, hold on. We have Disney handbags with seven surprises. The bag is definitely for our smart dolls or 18 inch dolls. It opens. Man, if this was smaller for like our one six scale, this would be so amazing, but it's not. Oh no, I think they're all gonna be kind of oversized. Yeah, that's like for a 18 inch doll, definitely. Really pretty, but kind of large. And that's just like a tag. Okay, what's that? Bandages? Yeah, there's three stickers in there. I mean, I guess that could be fun, but definitely smart doll size. Here's a pin. I might actually put this in my purse. I always have a pin on me. Here is a mini compact. Again, for our larger dolls, we have nail files, which are going in my travel bag, a D-ring and a hairbrush, which is for like a one six scale doll. Man, so the scale is like all over the place. For our 12 inch fashion dolls, they get a brush and everything else goes to our smart dolls. Let's see if we have better luck with the Cinderella handbag. The bag itself, I think it's pretty oversized for most of our dolls. Let's see if we have some goodies inside that we can use in the dollhouse. Let's see, what do we have? A giant eyeglass case. All right, ooh, another hairbrush stickers all right let's see we have some stickers 
However, I don't feel like stickers should count as a surprise, but that's just me. We have more nail files. Okay, we get two. Those actually feel like pretty decent nail files. We have one shoe, which is uh, pretty large. Sorry, princess, the shoe doesn't fit. A hairbrush, which we can totally use in our one six scale dollhouse. The cell phone with the phone cases. Look at these. This is pretty cool, but this phone is way too large for our dolls. It's more, you know, it's like a smart doll size, but that's pretty neat. Why couldn't these have been a little smaller? It's a little pouch shaped like a clock. I don't know, it might be fun on like a bookcase or something. And the glasses in the case are really cute. They open and everything. I might be able to use them with my Barbie Extra Mini. I really wanted the cell phones to work. I thought the cases were super adorable. I don't know, can we get away with it? Look at this, the phone from the gamer bag fits the case. So that's good to know that they are all compatible. Overall, I am gonna say the gamer bag is one of my favorite finds for the day. I love the juice from The Real Littles. And of course, mini brands are a favorite. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Real Littles and recycled some of their boxes. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.